This screencast tutorial has been created to help with completing your OCPS background screening application. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video, and here are some tips before we get started. I may refer to the Teacher Education Program at East Campus sometimes as TEP, and I also may refer to the Service Learning Program as SL. And then I'll also refer to the Valencia Future Educators Club as VFE. Next tip, you may wish to turn on the closed caption feature for the video. This may help you follow along with the instructions. Lastly, you may pause the video at any time just to give yourself some time to complete some of these steps. So this screencast video will explain these three topics. One, our community partner schools. Second, items you may need before beginning your background screening application. And third, how to complete the OCPS online application. Before you begin your OCPS background screening application, you must first choose a school. If you are enrolled in an East Campus Service Learning course, you must choose the school from the Community Partner Schools list. These schools have been specially chosen to make sure they will accept all our Valencia Service Learning students, and we have agreements with these schools. They're all aware of the service learning requirements and have agreed to place all our service learning students quickly. Please click on the link uh, you can access the link by going to www.valenciatep.wordpress.com. You can scroll down, click on Community Partner Schools, and then you can find the list uh, by scrolling down. Uh, click on the picture of each school, and that will take you to the site on our page that will give you more information about contacting the school. Please check with your professor to make sure you're able to complete your hours at this school, as each professor has their own particular service learning requirements for their particular course. Please choose from the list on the TEP website and write down this name before you begin the OCPS background screening application. I highly suggest you pause the video to review the Orange County Public Schools Volunteer Eligibility Statement that can be found in the Service Learning Handbook on our TP website. You must understand what a background screening will reveal and what may disqualify you from being uh, from being approved. If you feel your background screening will not be approved, please notify your professor, notify me, or notify the Dean of Social Sciences. Their contact information can be found on the TEP website. Please note, if you are not approved for your background screening, you cannot and will not be able to complete the course, as the service learning hours are required component, and it is required by the state of Florida. Please contact your professor, the service learning liaison, and or the dean of social sciences immediately if this is the case. So let's look at what you're going to need before beginning your background screening application. You're going to need to set aside about 5 to 15 minutes to complete the entire background screening process. You will need your government ID, which is pretty much just your social security number or your driver's license. You will need to find a digital photo of yourself. On the application, you will upload a photo or you may take a photo of yourself during the process of filling out the application if you have a webcam on your computer. If you cannot upload it or take a photo of yourself during the application process, you will have to take this photo when you get to the school sign-in. The last thing, don't forget to write down the name of your community partner school you have chosen from our list. You're going to need this at the beginning of the application. Please make sure you have selected the correct school as many of the schools have different locations. Please make sure to choose the community partner school that is from the list on the TEP website. Third topic, let's begin the OCPS background screening application. You're going to need to decide from the following three options how you will be completing this application. There are three options. First one, I have been approved more than one school calendar year ago for OCPS background screening and need to update my information. You're then going to follow the instructions for the OCPS background screening from a previous year on the following slide. Or the second option, I have an active OCPS background screening from a previous semester within the last school year and need to change my school. Follow the instructions for the active OCPS background screening, need to change my school slide. First time applying for OCPS background screening, 
this is the third option, please follow the instructions for the first time applying for OCPS background. I will explain each of the three options next. For all of the options to begin the background screening application, you're going to need to access the TEP website and click on the OCPS background screening, scroll down, and you're going to click on the website where it says OCPS Samaritan. This will bring you to the Orange County Public Schools Additions Volunteer uh, Online Application for the background screening. You may skip through the video to find the option that, re that respond, re uh, re responds to you. So if you have chosen that you have an OCPS background screening from a previous year, I'm going to review the, uh, the requirements. If you applied and were approved in a previous year for an OCPS background screening, you do not need to complete the application again. Your background screening is only good for one school calendar year. You must update your background screening each year to remain active. Follow these steps to update your OCPS background screening. First, access the OCPS Edition School Volunteer site. Click the blue Click Here button in the center of the page. Click the orange Login button at the top of the left side. Log in with your user ID and password. If you have forgotten this information, please contact OCPS as a Valencia Service Learning Liaison cannot help you with access to the OCPS site. If you need to update your record, a screen will appear asking you to click here to update your safety questions. Answer these questions honestly. This may take several minutes to update. Once updated, your status should stay active under your photo. You may begin your SL hours once your background screening state is, ac is active, status is active. If you have chosen the second option, you have an active OCPS background screening and you need to change your school, go and access the OCPS Edition School Volunteer site. Click the blue Click Here button in the center of the page. Click the orange Login button at the top of the left side. Log in with your user ID and password. If you have forgotten the information, contact OCPS as the Valencia Service Learning Liaison cannot help you with access to the OCPS site. Click the Search Opportunities tab at the top. Click the Volunteers orange button. And to change the school, find the school name in the search bar. Uh, in the search by schools bar. Make sure it is a uh, community partner school that is listed on our website. And then follow the instructions to sign up. And lastly, if you've chosen uh, the third option, the first time applying for OCPS background screening, follow these instructions. When you're completing the application, do so honestly. If you have been arrested, you must state as such, do not lie. It will complete cause your application to become voided and you will not be cleared ever. If you have been arrested, you may need to provide court documentation when completing the application. You may contact the Valencia College Service Learning Liaison, your professor, Dean of Social Sciences and PE, or the OCPS office with questions. So you're going to access the OCPS Edition School Volunteer site and click Volunteer Now. You're going to create your new account. Please follow the instructions as it, as it tells you to do so. You're going to then fill out the background screening information. You're going to add the information in the required fields in the next few frames. In the employment information, please choose currently a college student at Valencia. Complete the rest of the required fields and safety questions. You must answer these questions honestly, and you may not go back once you've clicked next. If you don't answer the questions honestly, and OCPS finds something in your past that did, you did not disclose, it may cause your application to be voided, and you will never be cleared in OCPS. Verify your background screening approval after a few days. Wait a few days. Uh, log back into the OCPS site and you're looking for your profile photo and underneath it it should say active, approved, or accepted. And if not, uh, please contact OCPS as listed on our Contact Us page on the TEP website. If after a week you have not been approved, please contact your professor and the Valencia College Service Learning Liaison listed on the contact page. Thank you very much. This concludes the background screening video. Please don't forget our TEP website can be found at www.valenciatep.wordpress.com and please feel free to contact me, your service learning liaison, with any questions.